Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Friday, November 6th, and it's um, 8.39 p.m. Okay, uh, I have a prayer request to, um, to make for one of our sisters in Christ. Um, she's having some pretty bad issues. She moved from one state to another state and to see from one senior like uh they're just apartments for seniors to another similar situation in another state okay now she's requesting prayer because there is a woman who lives next to her i believe it's next door um let me see where it begins where she said she asked me how I was feeling she said okay then she starts off sis I am under a lot of stress a JW neighbor still giving me trouble she called the police on me please pray thanks love you in Christ all right and then I replied back, um, asking her, was she crazy or something? And I asked her if, you know, I thought maybe she was trying to share Jesus with her and it set her off. And anyway, that was not the problem. She said, no, I have never spoken to her. She told police, I am throwing things over her head. She told them I came in her apartment and threw a bowling ball at her, but it didn't hit her. That is just crazy. Sometimes, let me tell you, sometimes older people, if she starts losing it like that, she could, she probably has dementia. It could be regular dementia. Could be Alzheimer's, could be alcohol, uh, dementia from drinking all her life. I don't know, but whatever the cause, her brain is just not thinking straight. Anyway, um, she said, I have the police report. She said, I follow her all around. The last time she trapped me in the hall... I told housing they did nothing because it's not bodily harm. Now I gave them the report from police. I told them she can hurt me. Prayer needed. Maybe you can put a prayer request up. I don't know. I am scared. She is uh, a woman of color and now she is afraid to go out. Well, um, whatever color anybody is, when they start having problems like this and they start accusing you of following them around, and they may believe it, they may be seeing things, she might be demonized, she even could be possessed. So, we need to pray God's angels protect protect her our sister in Christ um, that this woman will be bound how is it whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven that's the scripture so we need to bind this woman with heavenly chains to stay in her apartment or go the opposite direction from this sister of ours and loose angels from heaven to come down and bind up this woman, spiritually speaking, so that she cannot and will not torment her neighbor 
our sister in Christ. Okay, as I told her, it sounds to me like she has a few screws loose, if you know what I mean. Like she needs some, well, truly, I'd, you know, my first thought, she needs psychiatric help. Well, actually what she needs is deliverance. So many people that the world says, oh, she's psychotic, she's schizophrenic, she's this, she's that, she needs to be committed for at least four weeks, whatever. What she needs, these people need, is deliverance. I think they just some. Sometimes it can honestly be a, a mind deterioration problem. Like I said, it could be caused from alcohol. It could be just old age. It could be taking a flu shot every year. You know what that does? You're taking thimerosal, like what a baby gets. I mean. There's got to be some kind of mercury in those flu shots as a preservative to keep them stable until they're given to a person. Somebody could look that up. Find out what, what heavy metal is in a flu shot. If anybody cares to. The point is, you take flu shot every year, which a lot of people do when they start getting older. They don't believe it's going to hurt them. And they believe it's going to keep them from getting the flu. And what it's going to do is what this woman's doing. It's going to give them Alzheimer's, dementia, and kill them early. It's going to make them sicker sooner. All right. So that's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. Um... I told her she needed to find a senior citizen lawyer. We could pray for that to get a restraining order. Or maybe she could just go to the police department herself and put out the need for a restraining order against this woman. So that if this woman comes within 30 feet of her, I mean, they live next door to each other. There has to be some way to... to Put a restraining order so that if our sister in Christ goes out of her apartment and the door makes a noise and the other lady hears it and comes out just to harass her, then at least she has a piece of paper that says she can call the police and have her arrested for violating the orders of the, what do you call it? I just said it, um, restraining order. So let's pray for that. Whatever. We want Lord's will to be done. But, you know, this is just one of those. People with demons in them, Satan can use to push our buttons. To try to make us be afraid or get angry or do something we shouldn't do as a Christian. Um, there's a lady here like that that lived on the floor I used to live on. She lives, still lives on that floor. I had to just totally avoid her. If I tried to be friendly, it was, uh, oh, I just, I think in my first year here with that, and that was, she was pushing my buttons. The woman is supposed to be a Christian. When I went to the little church service they used to have, she'd always be there. One time, the only seat left was beside her. I sat there. And she didn't say a word, and I didn't say a word either because I knew she would just say something ugly. And, you know, and I think, how, how, how can 
people be a Christian and be that way? Well, this woman's a Jehovah's Witness. The one that's harassing our sister in Christ. All right. Do they consider themselves a Christian? I had a comment from one. It went into my spam. Left a long old comment. And it sounded real Christian-like. And then at the very end, it said something about the... Um, what is that other name? Wait a minute. The Church of Latter-day Saints. Is, is that Mormons or Jehovah's Witness? But everything they said sounded pretty much everything. But I was like, oh, no, I don't think so on this. And then, oh, I don't think so on that. And I almost was going to approve it just so I could reply. But when I found, saw the signing at the bottom, how it was, I was like, oh, no, I don't think so. And I just deleted it. Anyway, I've gone on long and long enough. Pray for our sister. And however you feel you're led for whichever way we just want the lord's will to be done and i don't think it's the lord's will for her to be harassed she's a senior citizen i mean i believe the lord would want a good christian woman to be able to live in peace now i know and we all know we're not really gonna have peace here on this earth the way it is not until jesus comes and sets up his millennial reign. But I don't think it's too much to ask for the Lord to help our sister get a restraining order against the neighbor or to get the neighbor to be moved, have to move. Perhaps the administration get them on their off their uh, you know what and do something this isn't right you move into these kind of places to have peace and quiet where there aren't little kids running around and yelling and teenagers standing around smoking and cussing and acting a fool you know what I'm talking about the ones who don't have godly parents teaching them right there's far too many of them. Oh, I tell you. Okay, I'm just going to end it here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this. And I'm going to say I pray for our sister that she, God knows her name, that she will get the peace that she needs so she doesn't have to fear going out. I pray, Lord, that you will send warrior angels to bind up this woman. We bind the demons in this woman and command them to cease and desist from making this woman be a thorn in our sister's side. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that. And I pray, well, if we can, if the Lord will send angels to bind up those demons, it should take care of the problem. Okay? So with that I say, I, I, uh, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. The internet connection that we all have, all of our internet connections, all of us and all of our devices. <laughs> I guess I'm getting tired. I'm getting tongue-tied. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now and I'll talk to you later.